thing about winter, uh, as I'm sure most of you are aware, is that it gets dark really, really early. So right now it feels like it's about, what would you say, Peyton? 10? 10 o'clock? I would say 10. It's a ripe 10, um, but it's actually like 6. Seven. I don't even think it is 7. No, is it, it is. Seven? Okay, it's 7. So, anyway, we're getting coffee regardless. <laughs> Maybe you hold the power of my dreary life. We went to one coffee place. They had turned off the coffee machine. So, we're not doing too well so far, but we're not giving up. We're finding coffee. You are my autumn sky. We got our coffee and it's so cute. <laughs> There's no flowers left in this winter's night. We no longer sit and cry. These memories. So we didn't really account for the fact that the entire city is closed on Sundays. Like, really everything is closed. Um, but it's not raining. So that's, you know, that's a huge win. Honestly, I'll take it. Maybe you, you are. Maybe you, you are. My heart and sky. Derry is a really interesting city. There's a lot of really complicated history that I am not qualified to explain. Um, essentially, people have two ways of referring to the city. Some people call it Derry, some people call it London Derry. And what you call the city is a bit of a political stance, which I find fascinating. I've always been told to call it Derry. I'm a big fan of Derry Girls, the TV show. I just, I've never heard it referred to as London Derry. But you come here and there's signs everywhere. A lot of them say both. London Dairy Dairy or Dairy London Dairy. I don't know what the order is. I don't know if it matters. Actually, I'm really curious now. But it is, it goes back to the history of the Troubles and the separation of Northern Ireland from the Republic of Ireland. Northern Ireland is in the UK, which is why we use pounds here. Um, and it turns out you do not need a passport. It is an open border. I found that out when I forgot my passport in Dublin. The people who call the city London Dairy as opposed to Dairy, um, I believe, are called loyalists and they believe that Northern Ireland should remain part of the UK, um, whereas people who call it Derry are Republicans and um, want a united Ireland. I don't really have the authority to be teaching um, Irish history. This is just my understanding. Um, but if I'm saying anything that's incorrect or you want to elaborate, please do so, because I would love to learn more about this. I find it really, really interesting. If you don't know me, then you might be like, Claire, why Derry? Why Derry, Northern Ireland? Like, why, you know, why? Um, if you do know me, you know it's because I love the show Dairy Girls, and when you're booking your own tour, you can just visit a city and play a show there because you like a show that's filmed there. So I did that. Alright, we made it back to Hostel Connect. We're very tired. Right, Peyton? But anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe. What she said. I'm Claire Hawkins. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, no, no I am. I'm Claire Hawkins. Okay. Anyway, bye! Little girl.